My name is Lieutenant Colonel Rob Shaw. I'm the battalion commander for 1st Battalion, 503rd Infantry. So what 1st Battalion did with elements from the entire brigade, we had sappers uh, from the engineer battalion, some elements of the brigade headquarters. What we did today was demonstrate our capability to conduct joint force ball entry operations anywhere in the world and in, on, with limited notice. So the battalion task force that's out here on Circle A uh, Air Base in Slovenia We've been doing extensive planning for this airborne assault on, a, on an airfield and uh, extensive, extensive rehearsals and preparations. And then last night, uh, we, we finalized our plan at Aviano and, uh, and departed early this morning to jump, to jump into this airfield. So just like any Army unit, there's personnel turnover. Uh, there's leaders that rotate into different positions, et cetera. So you have to do these sorts of events at regular intervals in order to sustain the, uh, the proficiency that you need to be able to do this thing for real, uh, like the 173rd is required to do with the contingency response force mission that we provide to the United States Army Europe. So for, for Eagle Sokol, which is the exercise that 1st Battalion's doing over the next couple weeks in, in Slovenia, uh, we're doing, doing three things primarily. The first we conducted today, the airborne assault onto an airfield here at Circle A Air Base. Uh, we're going to break the battalion up into, into essentially thirds and move into uh, a couple of different events. The first is out in Pocek, uh, where we'll train closely with some Slovenian Armed Forces and we'll do uh, several days, consecutive days of platoon live fire training. We're also going to do a live fire for our Gamble Company, which is our forward support company, and our heavy weapons company, our dog company. So we'll be doing a live fire density out at Pocek. While that is going on, my Battalion XO and a, what we call ACP2, Assault Command Post 2, will run everything out of, he, out of here at Circle A Air Base, a series of platoon exavals. So the companies will rotate through, and you may be able to see the Chinooks here behind me. Those aircraft are from the 12th Cab. They're going to do a number of air assaults into a maneuver rights area here in, in the vicinity of the air base and platoons will go into three consecutive days of attack, raid, ambush, and then they'll have a couple of uh, uh, contingencies that they'll have to execute, one being a mass cal exercise, fully supported by the rotorowing assets you see behind me, as well as both stations, so Pocek and here near Circle A are going to be supported logistically from this air base via sling load and the Chinooks that you see in the background. So we'll be exercising our ability to sustain the battalion for a continuous period of time, really about 11 consecutive days, and, and we'll be running uh, platoon live fire and the platoon sticks lanes uh, simultaneously. Well, for, for the uh, Sky Soldiers that are participating in this training today, it's important because one, this, this, is, this is our coin of the realm. This is what we could be asked to do as an airborne brigade forward stationed in, in Italy and Germany with very little notice, jump into uh, a foreign location uh, and conduct any number of different operations. So you have to train that muscle in order to be able to execute it uh, quickly. And then just like every Army unit, we have substantial turnover with our, our young paratroopers and our leaders. So if you're not training these types of events at a regular interval, uh, you're going you're gonna to have atrophy in your ability to, to conduct it when, when and if the call ever comes for real. Um, our, the partnership here with the Slovenian Armed Forces is, is, a, is a really important one. I think here in the last few days, uh, Slovenia has celebrated its 15th anniversary. Uh, about you know on becoming a member of NATO so it's an, it's a critically important ally uh, the soldiers share a lot of a lot of the common uh, common challenges um, what we get what we can offer here for the Slovenian Armed Forces is our airborne uh, operational experience which we share and then you know for example what the Slovenians do for for, for, the, for NATO and the Army is they've, they've got a, a platoon of tanks at the Hohenfels training area, which for, for most units in Europe is the premier training uh, uh, forum uh, here in Europe. Um, and they, and they uh, support us as OP4 on a continuous basis. So they have a lot of uh, mechanized and armor experience that we can benefit from. So my hope is that, that here in Slovenia, we can in some way reciprocate some of our unique niche capabilities, one being the, the airborne piece uh, while we're here with, uh, with our Slovenian Armed Forces brothers and sisters.